Are you serious? I mean, are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? I'm going to say it again because I can't even hardly, uh, you know, contain myself that the prophetic sign, this great American solar eclipse, I'm going to be uh, preaching a message tonight here at in Boise, Idaho at the Hear the Watchman conference. Uh, it's going to be amazing. God is doing amazing things here already. Uh, with tremendous messages being preached. But listen to this. This total solar eclipse is going to go through seven Salems across America. Seven towns by the name of Salem. It starts in Salem, Oregon, and goes through the country, crossing 14 states, including five state capitals, but seven cities by the name of Salem. Matter of fact, they are Salem, Oregon and Salem, Idaho, Salem, Wyoming, and Salem, Nebraska, Salem, Missouri, and Salem, Kentucky, and Salem, South Carolina. Oh, by the way, Salem, Oregon, where it starts, just as the eclipse starts there, the sun sets in Jerusalem in Israel. Matter of fact, these towns are named after Jerusalem, Salem, and seven Salems will be in the path of this great American eclipse. And here's what the Bible says when referring to a solar eclipse. Unbelievable. If you go to Joel 3, uh, this is just a little nugget that I'm going to share with the uh, audience tonight. But it says in Joel 3, verse 14, multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. Oh, by the way, the 70 mile wide path of this solar eclipse is called the valley, all right? So multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. The sun and the moon shall be darkened and the stars shall withdraw their shining. The Lord also shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem and the heavens and the earth shall shake, but the Lord will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel. And here's this verse, one more little nugget. In Joel chapter 2, it says this in verse 30, and I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as the Lord has said, and in the remnant to whom the Lord shall call. Seven Salems on August 21st, 2017, the great American eclipse. And just one more little nugget for you. Shh. Don't spoil it for the people tonight. But when the seven years later, when the eclipse crosses America again, it will also go through Salem, Kentucky again, and Salem, Newfoundland in Canada. And this is the shocker of all. The, the, where it crosses is in Carbondale, Illinois, known as Little Egypt, but it crosses at a street just outside there of Carbondale called Salem. Are you serious? What? Uh, I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. We're living in the last days. I just looked and seen that uh, I'm featured in seven different articles about the total solar eclipse. Some of them with Scotty Clark, some of them with Pastor Mark Biltz, and even one of them with Evangelist Anne Graham. Billy Graham's daughter, all of us talking about the coming of the Lord and the solar eclipse. I'll see you guys later. God bless. Are you serious? Are you serious? Did he say seven Salem's?